Your Excellency, Hari Mariam Desale, Prime Minister of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia, and Income Chairman of the Commerce Authority, Your Excellency, Joseph Kabila Gabangi, President of the Democratic Republic of Congo, and the outgoing person of the Commerce Authority, Your Excellency's Heads of State and Government present here, your Excellencies, First Spouses, Your Excellency, Dr. Gonsana, Dlamini Zuma, Chairperson of the African Union, Your Excellency, Dr. Donald Kaberuka, President of the African Development Bank, Your Excellency, Dr. Carlos Lopez, Executive Secretary of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, Your Excellency, Mr. Cindy Songwenya, Secretary General of Commission, Members of the diplomatic corps, distinguished guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I feel greatly honored to be here for this important meeting after being elected head of state of the Republic of Malawi in May 2014. At the outset, allow me to express my profound gratitude and appreciation to the government and the people of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia for the generous hospitality shown to me and my delegation since our arrival in this wonderful city of Addis Ababa, where I once served as a professor of law at Addis Ababa University many, many years ago. I was so pleased to see how this wonderful city has transformed into a great metropolis. So I'm very, very glad to be here. I would really miss my part not to thank the Commercial Secretary General and his efficient professional team for working tirelessly uh, in order and diligently in preparing dossiers for this summit. This will facilitate our discussions on the issues presented to us on the summit agenda. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, permit me to personally congratulate colleagues heads of state and government who are attending this summit for the first time. I want to congratulate His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Madagascar, Right Honorable Sir Anwar Dubuth, Prime Minister of the Republic of Mauritius, and in absentia, His Excellency Edgar Lungu Kagwa, President of the Republic of Zambia, for your decisive victories in your respective elections. I wish your Excellencies success in your new terms of office. Mr. Chairman, as I indicated earlier, the people of Malawi held their elections on 20 May 2014. Let me, on behalf of the government and the people of Malawi, and indeed on my own behalf, thank the Commission for supporting us by sending an observation mission to Malawi's first ever Tripartite elections, which were described as free, fair, and credible by both the local and international observer missions. The elections were won by the DPP, were very thankful to other international observer missions for their contributions to holding our tripartite elections. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me, on behalf of the government and the people of Malawi, to express my gratitude to all good old people for the assistance received from the member state following my earnest appeal in the wake of heavy rains and floods which killed over 100 people and another 100 people missing. In my country, 15 of the 28 districts were destroyed and very badly affected. I want to thank members of the international community for the assistance rendered to Malawi. The country so requires assistance, especially in the rebuilding program phase. Roads, bridges, homes, and schools were swept away. Gardens were also swept away, and live food lost. Inevitably, this will adversely affect our harvest this year. This obviously adds more pressure on my government. Your Excellencies, 
my government attached its great importance to the ideals, principles, and objectives agreed to by the founding fathers of this organization as reflected in the commercial treaty. The mammoth and daunting challenges that the obvious face is to translate their vision and aspirations into tangible economic benefits for all our peoples. My government remains steadfast and will contribute to the extent possible, make the dreams of our founding fathers a reality. Ladies and gentlemen, the theme for the 18th Commercial Head of State and Government is called Inclusive and Sustainable Industrialization, end of quote. Comes time so as to ensure that commercial region devices measure to utilize market opportunities regionally and globally. The theme is not only act as an impetus to the accelerated development in this region, but also befits the urgency for achieving the aspirations of the founding fathers. Mr. Chairman, I must stress that the commercial of the determinant of the commercial fitted area and the commencement of the implementation of the custom union will end in futility if no deliberate efforts are made to front load industrialization development for equitable economic development in the region. We'll be satisfied when you sell micro, small, and medium enterprises producing and exporting value added products within the common market. We must therefore grab this opportunity and ensure that the draft commercial industrial policy is implemented in order to realize the aspirations and vision as enshrined in the commercial treaty. On peace and security, I'm pleased to note that the region is relatively stable except for a few pockets of political instability. I here commend the efforts being undertaken by commercial member states to address these security challenges. It is our noble responsibility to ensure that the implementation of our regional integration agenda strives under an enabling climate of peace, stability, and security. My government is fully committed towards a peace and security agenda in this region. Mr. Chairman, as I conclude my remarks, I would like to assure you that my government is committed to continue working towards honoring obligations under the Commercial Treaty for the transformation of our region into a fully integrated, internationally competitive regional economic community with high standards of living for all its peoples. Malawi will also ensure that there are synergies between regional and regional development organizations so that to facilitate enhancing and enhance regional economic cooperation and integration. I wish all fruitful deliberations and successful outcomes. I thank you for your kind attention. May God bless us all. Thank you. I have the honor to call upon His Excellency, Mr. Harry Rajaori Mama Pianina, President of the Republic of Madagascar, to make his statement. <laughs> 